Well, it looks like we're back for episode five of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series from Disney. And when it comes to this episode, this was just such an amazing episode. It, it was just from from start to finish. It was just uh, shit. It was shit. And it was this episode to me personally was just it was just the most annoying episode that's that's really the only the only word I could use to to describe this episode. It was just very very irritating because as we know we've got this episode and next week's episode and then we're done. So what is happening? All the time that's been wasted on four episodes, including five episodes. Let's be honest. Uh, now they're trying to they're trying to pack everything in to two episodes. Uh, there's a lot of things that you know, just switch like that. We, You know, we're talking about a certain character where they've done no build-up. They didn't start the character off going, there might be something here. You know, a lot of this stuff we're going to get into, uh, but, yeah, there's just certain things in there that's that's very irritating, especially from Obi-Wan. Uh, but I thought for this one, we'd start with a an article. Uh, just the headline. We're not... I may do a video on this article, but, you know, we're not going to go right into it. We're just going to read the headline. Obi-Wan's trench coat plan is dumb as hell, and that's the point. You know, how many times do, do we have to see articles like this? Oh, this show, well, the worst one I've seen is Cowboy Bebop was bad, and that's the point. <laughs> These are nothing more than shill articles. That is all it is. And this is, of course, about the trench coat scene that's... There's been a lot of a lot of talking about, uh, and yes, it's a it's a very stupid scene, and a lot of people seem to think <laughs> they seem to think that the writers done this intentionally uh, as a joke. Uh, I've got news for you: no, they didn't. See if you're if you're laughing at this scene, they're wondering why are they laughing at this scene. They they this trench coat scene was done seriously. It wasn't done as a joke. You know, I probably did laugh at it because of how dumb it was, but it what that wasn't the intention. It wasn't the intention behind it. So a lot of what we've been seeing is, oh well, well, oh, uh, Star Wars has always been dumb. You know, shit like that. They people can't understand that this trench coat scene compromises part of the story uh, because there's there's see if he got caught straight away because you know for those that haven't watched the episode. Basically, Obi Wan has has Leia in his trench coat. Uh, so you've got four four legs walking, two little legs, and two big legs walking through all these stormtroopers and, and all these other types of people, and no one notices. Again, that's something you would notice straight away. This scene would have worked better if someone picked up on it. See, if, see if one of the stormtroopers seen. Oh, he's got four legs. Then the scene would have worked a lot better. But because none of them notice. It's it's not something that works. There's loads of other other options you could take to make this scene better, but even if it was done for a joke, it it compromises what is going on. So that's what really. But you know, Star Wars is at its best when its heroes are anything but competent, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, but I'm not going to spend much much more time on that because uh, it's again it's just Gizmodo shilling for Disney. Uh, they're Disney overlords, but that's that's kind of what they what I may do a video on it. I don't know because I'm really at that point when it comes to you know I'm not interested in debating fucking idiots. I'm really not. So we're just gonna get into this episode, and I've got a feeling it's gonna take us fucking ages because uh, as I say, it's the most annoying episode, uh, at least to me. You know, a, a lot of some of the stuff. You know, like, episode three was annoying to a lot of people. Uh, but this one just, uh, uh, you know, I was shouting at the TV because there was just some stuff where I'm like, oh, just fuck off. Just piss off. Uh, you know, that that kind of that kind of feeling you get where you're just like, oh, shut up. Uh, but previously on, where Leia gets kidnapped again, they have to save her again. Because uh, that's, that's, that's what the story's been... Well, story. That, that's what the show's been from the start. Uh, it's basically been Leia gets captured, Leia gets saved, Leia gets captured, Leia gets saved. That's your four episodes. That's your four episodes. 
That is that's the only thing that that's happened, and just a load of bullshit in in the middle of it. Uh, and again, it's 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 another episode five. Again, you've you ain't done nothing with it. You, you know, it's, it's it's surface level stuff. There, there's there's some stuff in here where where I'm like, you know, I I think we should just get to it. Uh, but uh, right. So where do we start off? So you know, previously on a load of shit happened. Uh, let us see where we are at. All right. So this this is where it starts off. Uh, it, we get a I get a flashback. Uh, and all I could think when I was watching this is, what a missed opportunity. Uh, that, that's that's Lucasfilm's stupidity. You know, I've been saying you could have you could have done this. This could have been the the main thing you went for for the for the entire series is Obi Wan Kenobi living his current life while also involving stuff to like within the prequels. Especially to, because the prequels didn't do a good job at convincing us that, you know, Anakin and Obi Wan had this great friendship. Uh, they didn't really go into a lot of that, so that is something you you could have added. You could have actually added to the prequels and made them better than they than they are. Uh, so that you know, you could have had Anakin and Obi Wan on an adventure, uh, on some mission, and that that's something that would have been interesting and entertaining. Uh, but no, we didn't get that. We could we could do that. We could not do that. But that, that's what they should have done. That just makes a lot more sense. It's a lot more interesting. Uh, all these other shitty Disney characters, piss them off, piss them off. Reva, uh, the other woman who I don't know what her fucking name is because I don't care. Uh, you know, kick all them to fuck. Take Leia out the show because uh, that, that's the hilarious thing about this show is they've actually. You know, you, you never thought that Disney could make you hate uh, Leia, but that's what that's what they did. Uh, she's just an annoying fucking know-it-all. Uh, when well, basically the the writers try and try and portray her as smart, but she does a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> uh, but that's that's what I mean. You could you could have I I don't know. You you could have had something on your hands. You really could have, but you wasted it. You wasted it, you know. Uh, but yeah, now now we're on the we're on the Death Star. No, are we? No, we're not on the Death Star. I don't believe that's built yet. We're on the, I forget the name of the ship. Uh, but uh, Reva comes in and says, uh, "We've tracked him to, I don't, know, I I forget what the name of the planet was." Uh, and it, it's it, it's probably this is probably the best opportunity to point out that you didn't need any of this tracker bullshit. Uh, you knew exactly where Obi Wan Kenobi was going to turn up, and that would be Alderaan. That is where this leads to. You don't need to track him. You know exactly where he's going. You know exactly where he's going. Uh, and and also uh, another way this actually fucks up a lot of stuff is that uh, Senator Organa should should now be under scrutiny. That, that's that's what should be happening. Uh, he should be. You know, even possibly killed for being a traitor, because uh, uh, you know he's been in in contact with Kenobi. Uh, but yeah, he tells her to uh, tells her to kneel down, and 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 again throughout this whole episode, you don't get Vader's theme. Why not? You know, I I think it. I'm starting to think it's intentional. Uh, they they pretty much have for this whole episode. Uh, the music doesn't really change. It's the same music throughout the entire episode. Uh, they just, for some reason, they will not just give him his theme. It's like it adds it adds more to Vader's presence. Oh, but no, it's not about Vader. It's not about Obi Wan either. Uh, something we we can go into detail about at some point, but I I don't. They are. It's intentional. They they really don't want to don't want to give Vader some sort of presence. It's like they're going out of their way to do that. Uh, but yeah, this is this is them getting back to... So, so it's back in the Rebels base. I forget the name of the planet. Starts with a D. Uh, so they come back. Uh, you, you know, they're saved. All the people say, oh, they... No, Ice Cube's son walks out and says, oh, they're... We got her. We got her or something like that. 
So they're all all the people were happy about that. You've got this uh, fake Jedi that turned up, uh, the guy that was robbing poor people, uh, and he's apparently he was chased off the that other planet, fucking planets and planets, uh, the other planet where uh, where he gave away uh, Obi Wan's location to Reva because he's a stupid dick. Uh, where Reva force, uh, force, uh, forces, I don't know what you call it, uh, pulled his force out of his head using the force. Uh, and it said, yeah, it said, now I'm, I'm being hunted or something like that. Uh, there's Ice Cube's son there. He has, uh, he has a, uh, again, a, a lot of this stuff, it seems to, it starts off with minor things, minor things, and then it just, it just falls off a fucking cliff. It really, it, it about maybe 15 minutes in, it really just st turns into shit. Uh, but, well, yeah, Obi-Wan wants... He wants to take Leia back to older on, like, right this minute. And then, so Ice Cube's son, like, again, I don't know his fucking name, because uh, they... Why should I care? Uh, they, they really... That's another thing to point out from episode four as well. <laughs> it's like, originally, uh, this, this Ice Cube's son... Uh, that's just what I'm going to call him. Uh, yeah, he, he says, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to help Obi-Wan. You, you know, we want him to go away and then instantly goes, all right, we'll help you. So, that, you know, there's a, a little something that I missed on the last one. Uh, but where where do we go from here? I don't fucking know. Uh, but yeah, no. Yeah. Ice Cube son says, uh, you know, we can't. We've got all these people to get off this planet. Uh, to get him away, so Obi Wan has a has a look about him and all that, and goes, uh, "Right, we we do what we what we can to help." Uh, I I found this weird. No, it's, it's like, what's what are we doing here, Doctor Who? Is that fucking Doctor Who? Is it? I don't I don't remember hyperspace looking like that. Uh, but yeah, they fly. They, they all so they already know the planet they've they've went to. Reva's like, uh, we're gonna break them and all that, so, but of course, Vader's only interest is in is in Kenobi, uh, and for some reason, already uh, Reva is the Grand Inquisitor. If if you remember, Vader said, once you once you give me Kenobi, I'll make you the Grand Inquisitor. She hasn't given him all. She, all they know is his location. They don't know if they're gonna get him. So I don't know why she's already the Grand Inquisitor. Let, let's be honest, uh, Vader probably should have killed her in episode four. Because, uh, again, how the how the tracker stuff, she just assumed that that day, that particular day, Kenobi was going to come and save her, was going to come and save Leia. So she put a tracker, I don't know, it's fucking a lot of shit. It's like, so you were, you were planning to fail. And it's like, yeah, you had... Vader wants can I, I don't even know why all this all this like uh you know trying to find for for sensitive people even comes into play it's like Vader is only interested in Kenobi at this point in time so you, you know he should have really been like well no you literally you had Obi-Wan here and you let him fucking go when you could have just grabbed him you could have just grabbed him but instead you you let him go doesn't doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, uh, but whatever. Uh, so so but yeah, this is when we get to the the little little fucking droid that for for some reason because it's because it's got I don't, it's got a tracker on it, so I don't know why it's turned evil. So like, what what else does the tracker have on it? But yeah, it, it's funny how you you put a tracker on it and and now it's it's got red eyes instead of blue eyes. Uh, so yeah, that's that's come in, and then it starts cutting all these wires up. Uh, I forget what it says on the wall. It's a load of Jedi shite. Uh, they got lightsabers there. Uh, so yeah, it shows you it shows you the little droid cutting up all these wires, uh, and you'll never guess who get who, who goes and repairs it. You you you'll never guess. Uh, who who would you who would you not? Let near a load of electrical wires, uh, you know that's that that will give you a hint. Uh, but that's uh, you know we'll get to it, we'll get to it. But yeah, we just kind of keep jumping back to these these little flashbacks. 
the, the fight in the, the fight they're having in this is actually a lot better than the than the Vader fight. The, the first time he had a fight with Vader. Uh, in this in this series, you know the fight that shouldn't have happened. But again, it's just a missed opportunity. So it just kind of keeps flashing back into them. Uh, yeah, Kenobi's given a speech about how you know, you know we're not going to beat them, we're not going to do this. Uh, we should just defend the position we're in. Because uh, yeah, what what's happened is from the. I don't know, from, uh, oh yeah, when the when the little droid cut the wires, the, the top, so you can fly out of it, closes. So that, so it's kind of locked down now. So they're just like, we need to de defend this position until we can get it back open again. Uh, which, for some reason, takes them the whole fucking episode uh, to, to fix. Uh, but yeah, yeah Kenobi's like, because I, I think originally Ice Cube's son thought, Oh, where he's just going to, you know, like sort of starve us. He's just going to close us down uh, until we, you know, eventually eventually die off or come out or whatever. Uh, but Kenobi's like, no, nah, he doesn't have the have the patience. He doesn't have the patience to he, he'll like come and attack straight away. That's kind of that's kind of what the flashbacks are, are bringing in the play and all. Uh, it's basically about, how, you know, Kenobi's talking to Anakin about how you're so aggressive and all that kind of stuff. So we get that speech. Uh, so yeah, they they so this is like the sort of main door that once the once the Empire or the Inquisitors attack, that's the door that they have to come through. So they're tightening that up. Uh, that that's that, that's something that's is very stupid when once we get to it. <sighs> Fucking hell. So yeah, they're now they're they're down. They're at the door. Uh, they're just gonna they're just gonna blast it. So we yeah you get then Reva comes down. I, I I don't know why Vader doesn't just come down as well. I don't I don't know why he's still hanging about on his ship. It's like you're gonna have to come down here at some point. Just come down. So she walks through. Uh, I think I think they start yeah she like walks down and, and starts screaming again. You know all angry fight. It's like just. Just do that. Just like make a hand signal. That 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 would actually come across a lot better, uh, rather than just having some whamming screaming. Just no no composure whatsoever. Uh, so so yeah, this is when we get to the part where they need to figure out. The, so they need someone to go up in the vent and you know fix the wires, fix the wires that the droid destroyed. And rather than get an, an an adult to go up there, and by the way, it, it's not a it's not a like an adult can fit in the vent. Uh, so they get so Le Leia, of course Leia goes get me a ladder. It's like you're fucking ten. Fucking sit down, sit down. <laughs> uh, but no, they go. Oh yes, we are going to, going to let the ten year old play with electrical wires. That's safe. Parent in 101, that is. Never see when you have a baby and they, they go to put put their fingers in the in the in the plug socket. Just let them do it. Let them do it. Uh, that that's the message that I get from this. Uh but of course she Leia's uh, again, Lucasfilm have made you hate Leia because she's fucking irritating. Uh she's a know-it-all. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh get me get me a lad. It's like no, an adult can fit up there. Uh, and see, see, even if you you didn't, it doesn't. Ex why would you build it that way? I, I believe this this was something like in the Mandalorian as well. You remember when when the Mandalorian got uh, Baby Yoda to uh, to go in in with the wires and fix it? It's like why did you build it that way? Why did you build it so you can't get to it? Uh, and, and again, that's shit. You, you know, the Mandalorian's meant to be looking after Baby Yoda. He's like, oh, go and play with those fucking wires. Uh, I know you're a baby, but go and play with the wires. So it's it's the same shit. It's like, uh, 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 and it's just hilarious that in this episode, it's like, no, a full grown adult could fit in that vent. They could climb up and fit in it. They get it done a lot quicker. 
But no, they, we have to take the whole episode because we thought it was a good idea to get a 10-year-old who isn't an, elect an electrician to to fix this problem. What? Fuck off. Uh, Kenobi... Should Kenobi even be protecting Luke? I don't think so, uh, by the looks of it. That he's just going, yeah, go on, Leia. Go and play with the electrical wires. Even though you don't know what you're fucking doing. You're a 10-year-old. You haven't went to college and learned about uh, being an electrician. Uh, but I imagine if, if a fucking toilet's clogged, she's going to become a plumber. It's the way she does it and all. It's like, oh, you, you're just annoying. Uh, and yes, I'm talking about the character, not the actual actress. You know, the actress is fine. Uh, but it's just the, the direction they give her. It's like, you're just annoying. You're so annoying. <laughs> it's like, just the way she says it. I'm like, oh, go away. Go away. Uh, so we're already 22 minutes into the video and I've about 11 minutes through. Uh, it, but it's like I said, it's just fucking, it's the most annoying episode. It was something that just really annoyed me. Uh, but I think I've went into my rant about letting a, letting a kid play with electrical wires. Fucking what dumbness is this? But no, Leia just knows how to do this. Leia, Leia just, yeah, I, I don't get, I don't, I really don't get it. It's like they don't explain to her what she's, what she's meant to be doing. Uh, and uh, even if they did, I, I'm still questioning why you're letting a little girl go and play with electrical wires. It's very weird to me. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, and then, yeah, what? Well, yeah, that that this little thing here is the is that, that's how he contacts. Uh, Organa. So we do get a, a little bit. So so this is the, uh, again, a full-grown adult can fit in this hatch. Uh, I don't think I'm making that up. Uh, and if, if they couldn't, uh, it's funny how it's, <laughs> uh, even then you could still get an adult through that door. It's like, look at all those, it's like, why is it even built that way? Again, if you actually couldn't get a full-grown a full, a full adult into it, it still wouldn't make sense why you would build it that way. But yeah, you could you could easily get a full grown adult in there. So yeah, she just starts fucking about with wires. I I haven't heard him tell tell her what to do. Fucking hell. So yeah, there, there's like a little a little message from from Organa. Uh, basically, what does it sort of go into? Uh, let me have a look. I, I I do take notes now and again. But yeah, basically, it's about like you, you're like I know we we said we wouldn't have any contact, but you're silent again. That that's, that's this doesn't even make sense. It's like I know we weren't going to make contact, but your silence has made me worry. It's like well, you already knew they wouldn't make contact. Uh, but yeah, then he goes into this big spiel about well, I'm good. If I don't hear from you, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Tatooine uh, and help Owen with a boy. It's your. It's, this is your fault, Organa. You fucking prick. It really is. It's like all these, all these options you have to go and get someone to go and find Leia when she first got kidnapped. Uh, you could have got anyone. You could have got anyone. But no, you went with no. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and get the guy that's supposed to be protected. He's he's got his job. Me, Senator Organa. I've got my job to do. Uh, if I fuck it up, that's on me. I'm not going to go right. Well, you know, the other child's got to die then. Uh, we, we've got we've got to put him in jeopardy in jeopardy because I can do my fucking job. <sighs> uh, again, it's it's all solved by not having Leia in the show. But no, you, you had to you had to throw as many people in there as possible you, because you couldn't you couldn't do something just focusing on Kenobi. You couldn't do it. You couldn't handle it. You didn't want to do it. You weren't allowed to do it. Uh, again, something we'll, we'll eventually talk about. Uh, so they they have that, uh, and then you get this uh, this this whammon again, another whammon, uh, another character. Well, character, not really. Uh, another. I still don't know her name. I still don't, she's made no impact on the fucking. Well, she's made him. She's done everything for Kenobi. She's just so much better than Kenobi. Kenobi cannot be trusted to do anything on his own. So she starts. She starts talking about like 
when she was undercover with the Empire, uh, that they had they had to round up a load of a load of people that were of course like force sensitive, uh, and she didn't realize that they were going to kill them. It's like, how do you not know that? How did you not know that? Fuck, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck off. Get out the story. Uh, I, ju I just want a show about Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's all I want. But no, we need to surround him. Uh, we need to surround him with women. Uh, again, something we will go into detail about, but that's, that's very obvious at this point. Uh, what kind of stuff they're going into. Uh, but she says, uh, so now every, every, uh, I don't know, every Inquisitor I kill, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I do, I put this, I don't know if it's these dots here, or, or I, don't, I don't fucking know. When I was watching it, the sun was shining on the TV. So I, I don't know if it's those little lines you can see in her holster. I, I guess she marks down the people she kills. Uh, it's a bit weird. It's a bit psychotic. Uh, what, you Victor Zaz? Uh, so they're, yeah, they, they're blasting through the door and all that. Uh, and that, yeah, Obi Wan says, "Well, can you get a message to Reva so we can, so we can talk?" Like, so he's on one side of the door, she's on, she's on the outside, so they can have a conversation. Uh, yeah, he goes up to the gate, and th then they start talking. What do they talk about? Like, again, it was, a, it was a lot of shit, but basically, they, they're now. Uh, episode five, they're now going to, you know, sort of, sort of break, break Reva out of, like, she's, she's been a villain. And then all of a sudden she breaks out of nowhere. Again, this works better if when we first meet her, she, she's quite hesitant to do, to do certain things. You can, you can kind of, then you can kind of see it. You can kind of see, see it that, you know, eventually we'll, we'll lead up to, but they haven't done this. Uh, she's been a fucking... You, you know she's been a villain from the very start, and now by epi now at episode five, now she's now she's really a good person. But yeah, they start. Well, yeah, this is this is them trying to explain how how she knows that Darth Vader is in fact Anakin Skywalker, uh, because and apparently it's because she was at uh, because she we know she was at Order sixty six, but then again it's like well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what, how uh, unless the storm uh, the uh, unless the the bow what are they called I fuck it, I'm forgetting what they're called now. But the people that went went and done Order sixty six with Anakin, it, it's like how how would you get that name though? Darth Vader. We we know that Obi Wan already knows that uh, Anakin went by Darth Vader. Uh, the the writers, by the way, didn't know that. They didn't know that in the prequels. Obi Wan seen seen footage of uh, uh, Palpatine of Palpatine saying to Anakin, uh, "Rise now, Lord Vader," or something along those lines. But the yeah, the writer of the show didn't know that because he didn't bother. He didn't bother to go and go and check. Uh, no, he j he just asked someone. He didn't bother to go. Well, you know, I'm working on a Star Wars show, so maybe it makes sense. That I should go back. I should watch the prequels. I should watch the the original trilogy. But they didn't do that, so that's that's the explanation on why she knows. But again, it's just because you've seen Anakin commit these things doesn't necessarily mean you should know that he goes by Darth Vader. But yes, yeah, basically, so it go, I think it flash back, flashes back a little bit. Uh, yeah, even the ex the explanation for why she, she survived is shit. Uh, it's not that good, but yeah, she's like telling him, uh, like he took everything away from me. So that's we we already knew from the opening scene that that was Reva. It was blatantly obvious. So yeah, even in this, so yeah, it's, it's showing like Anakin's face and that, uh, and uh, apparently she played dead because because now in the Star Wars universe, when you when you get stabbed with a lightsaber. For some reason, you survive. So that, that's basically what happened. Originally, I thought it was like she she didn't get hit by a lightsaber, but, but like it shows both their like him him looking at her. So Anakin and Reva both both look at each other's faces, and she said, "But I played dead." It's like, well, he just seen you. 
he just he just sits, so that's what I re but no no I think it's uh, uh yeah she got stabbed by a lightsaber and uh, somehow survived uh, but uh, you know enough of this conversation I, I think yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it you, you know we could be here all day uh, and then this this is uh, you if you remember what I said about the door. It's like they've just been they've just been blasting at this door for the past half an hour. Uh and then Reva just cuts it open with her lightsaber. You could have done that from the start. Why didn't you, you could have done that from the start, you fucking idiots. You absolute idiot you brought down this heavy machinery when Reva could have just stuck her lightsaber in it. You've literally wasted time. You could have been in there already. You could have been in there already. Uh, but no, only now she decides to, oh, oh, I can stick my lightsaber through this. It's like you could have done that to begin with and saved us a lot of, a lot of trouble. Fucking what, what, like, what, how fucking stupid are you? Uh, so yeah, the, uh, and then Obi, if, if you remember from the last episode where, uh, they, they show Obi-Wan struggling to to use the force on a little bit of, a little tiny piece of metal, uh, and then then he managed to use the force to hold out the ocean from coming into the Inquisitor's base. Uh, so it's it's been very in, uh, inconsistent and contradictory, where it's like he he can either use it or he can't. You can't have both. You can't have both. So he uh, force pushes her. Because all of a sudden he can just use the use the force to his full capabilities, even even though how they set it up was he couldn't use it. <laughs> but then all of a sudden now I can use the force. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, this leads to a big gun battle. Uh, of course, the stormtroopers are missing every fucker because that, that's you know we can't we can't have stormtroopers hit anybody. Uh, even though there's multiple rounds getting shot out. Multiple rounds of lasers. So, yeah, this is ba basically Obi-Wan Kenobi's using his lightsaber to deflect the bullets. Or lasers. You know, I, I don't know if you'd still call them bullets. Uh, uh, again, Leia, Leia still hasn't sorted these wires out, and that that's maybe, maybe you, you know, I, I might give you a bit of advice. That's maybe because you should have got an adult to do it. You should have got someone who actually knew what they were doing. Then you'd be done with this in five minutes. That's how long it takes you. But no, you you went, no, we'll get the ten-year-old girl to do it. <laughs> you fucking retards. Uh, so yeah, he's like, yeah, hurry up, like you need to hurry up, Leia. It's like, why don't you oh, fucking hell? I, that's, that's probably the most annoying part of this. It's like, just fucking, can an adult go and do it? Preferably someone that's trained in a in being an electrician. Uh, so you've got that wham in there that again, I still don't know her name. I don't know her name. All, all I know is that she was in Game of Thrones. Uh, she was the, what was it, the Sand Snakes or something like that. Uh, she Yeah, she was like the... Uh, she was like, I don't know, she fucked Oban, didn't she? Uh, she Yeah, she was like the, the mother of his bastards. Uh, so, I, I don't know why Obi-Wan's behind the woman anyway. So she gets shot. Uh, I, I couldn't really give a fuck less because I don't care about this character. Uh, they've gave me no reason to. They built her up for that. She's just, you know, again, perfect. So she gets shot while Obi Wan was all the way fucking behind her. So I, I don't know what he was doing. Uh, so she dies. Couldn't give a fuck less. Let's move on. Uh, Obi Wan seems really upset, even though they've barely. They've barely had any any sort of relationship. Uh, so he's all upset about that. We go back to Vader. And, and then we go back to them fighting. Having another scrap. Uh, again, all I can think is missed opportunities. Opportunities. You could have done something good. But you fucked it up. Because you're fucking shit. Because that's what Lucasfilm is. 
There we go. A nice, nice little song. You got to get a little song. <laughs> ah, right. Where do we go now? I, I still can't believe we're not through this episode yet. Uh, it, it was, it was like a forty-minute episode, but again, it's five minutes of credits uh, and a two, two minutes of previously including uh, logos. So it's, you know, it's only 30, 32, 33 minutes, something like that. Uh, so now what we're going to get in episode six is everything's going to be squashed into, will they do an hour? Do they, I, I don't, I, if I remember correctly, they did they do that with Boba Fett? I don't know if they went uh, an hour episode, so that might be what they're doing. But even then, an hour, an hour is not enough to, to try and squeeze everything into the, into the one thing. It's like you've had, you've had, four, You've had five episodes, uh, and re really, this episode is really went nowhere. It's like, yeah, it ends in a different place, but through the the middle of it, there's really not much going on. It's Leia, a ten year old, uh, playing with electrical wires. Uh, it's Obi Wan. Uh, you know, I don't. Just been a few flashbacks, uh, but let's be honest, the, the flashbacks are, are really, really pointless in this show. Uh, with what you've done with it, uh, you really could, really did have something interesting you could have done, but you missed it again because you're Lucasfilm and you're so fucking shit. Uh, so yeah, Obi Wan saying, right, I need to, I need to go and surrender myself. No, no, no consideration of, of uh, for Luke though. Uh, no, fuck him. I'm gonna surrender myself, risk myself dying, uh, even though I need to protect Luke. Uh, so he gi he gives he gives the uh, the you know the idiot guy from that uh, the, the fake Jedi that's a fucking idiot. Uh, he gives him his his weapons and all that kind of stuff uh, to hold. I I don't know if he's st if he's still thinking this guy's gonna, gonna be able to just use a lightsaber. But he get uh, uh, one thing that we do need to point out now is, is this you, you know the little thing that that Obi-Wan uses to contact Organa, that he gives that to him as well. And that, that's something that is, is, is a bit of a contrivance. Very, very convenient that it just so happens to, you know, we'll get to it. Uh, but I, I don't know why you'd give this more on anything. I really don't. Uh, so he's going to surrender himself. He comes up, it's fucking all that shit. Uh, we're, we're now 23 minutes in, or 20, 24 minutes in. Uh, Leia's still pissing about with these wires. You could have been done with this already. Could have been done with it, but we ain't got nothing else to do. We we couldn't think of anything else before. Oh, I know. Oh, that would be a good plot point. Let's have a 10-year-old girl uh, play about with, with wires. So he comes out. Uh, and then, because, because now all... They waited till episode five to show that Reva is, I don't know, actually after Vader, even though he's been, she's been working with him for so many years. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, they they start having, they start talking about. Well, well, Obi Wan's trying to convince her to turn on Vader, uh, right in front of all these stormtroopers. They ain't clicking on. Uh, they could, they could, they could have told Vader. Oh, by the way, she, she's, she's planning on killing you. She's planning on on murdering you, even though you got no fucking chance. You got no chance. Uh, so she's not really. I I, I don't know. I, I fucking don't. I don't know. Oh, we're, we're actually we're actually really close to the end. Really, really close. I can't wait. I can't fucking wait. So yeah, they they take him back inside until Vader gets here. Uh, then we're back to Anakin, Anakin and Obi Wan having a, having another fight. Uh, Obi Wan's just teaching him lessons that you're you're desperate for, you're desperate for victory, and that will be your downfall, something like that. Uh, so then Vader, Vader now comes down again, not playing his theme. Uh, no, we we can't we can't give Vader uh, some sort of screen presence. No. No, we can't play. We can't play his famous piece of music uh, in a Star Wars show. Fuck me! They really are idiots. 
but as, as I say, it's just the it's just the the same continuous music throughout the whole episode. Uh, at least when something's happening. Uh, so she's still pissing about with the wires. Uh, yeah, but, and by the way, th this little droid's been behind those wires like this whole time. She hasn't spotted it. Uh, so it comes out and tries to attack her. Uh, and she pulls out, pulls off the little... Uh, she just knows exactly what that is on the... on the uh, Behind it. Uh, the little tracker thing. Uh, so, uh, so Vader starts walking through the tunnels to get... Oh, yeah, no, Obi-Wan's just easily ran off. Uh, he shot the two stormtroopers, uh, and he's away. So he's no longer in handcuffs. He's he's back, got run back to the ship. Ah. So that yeah now now the ten year olds finally, after about twenty eight minutes, uh, fix the wires. You could have been done with it ages ago. If you just got someone that should have been doing it. Oh yeah, that's that's the bit. So so this fucking knob end, uh, this idiot that Obi Wan decided to give his gear, has he's dropped. He's dropped the the little the little thing thing he uses to contact Organa. He's he's looked at it and he's just went ah fucking leave it. He's literally looking at what he just dropped. He's like nah fuck it. Fucking idiot. I, I don't know I don't know why Obi Wan's going, Oh yeah, we should trust you with my things. Even though you gave away my location the last time I trusted you. So he just looks at it and goes, Ah, leave it. I'll just leave it. There could be something important on there. And you've just left it. You've just looked at it and go, Oh, I'm not gonna pick that up. Even though I've got plenty of time uh to just go go stand back a bit and just pick it up. That's all you gotta do. But no, you look at it and go, no, I'll fucking leave it. Uh, again, it, it's, it's something we will get to, but it's something that would have worked better if he just didn't see himself drop it. Uh, even then, it's like, you've got pockets. Can you just, can you not put things in your pockets? Why are you running about like this with things? Fucking hell, that's what I do when I go down the shop. Uh, no, I don't want a fucking bag. I'll just carry it all. <coughs> oh. Uh, so Leia's back down, Obi-Wan hugs her, uh, and then, yeah, the ship starts st starts flying off, and Vader uses the Force uh, and starts pulling on it. Uh, so he does, he pulls it down, pulls it apart, and it's the wrong ship. Uh, it was a, it was all a ruse. Uh, there's another ship behind it. That, I, I don't know who was flying this one, though. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's autopilot or whatever. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this is the part where Obi Wan tells him about you're so desperate for victory. That'll ultimately be be a downfall or something like that. Uh, so that that's when Reva walks up behind him and tries to tries to kill him. It's like, yeah, what what chance did you did you think you had a chance? Did you? Uh, so yeah, he he of course sees her coming and it then says to her, "I I always knew you were you, you weren't what you said you were or something like that." Uh, the Obi Wan's used you and all that kind of stuff. It's like, why have you been letting her work for you? If you if you sense that she was she was a little off. Uh, so yeah, she's using her lightsaber, and he's just using the Force. Uh, and then eventually, because uh, there is a, there is a bit of a fuck up uh, in this in this part. So he he, he has a lightsaber that is double edged, uh, double sided. Uh, so he snaps it apart. Uh, he throws her one, so they're going to have a fight. They're going to have a fight now. You know, I, I, I find it funny that they, they give they give Reva and Darth Vader the better fight than Obi-Wan and, and Darth Vader. Uh, it, you know, they didn't put any time and effort into... You know, I, I thought there was meant to be another fight between Obi-Wan and Vader. Or, or another... I don't know if, they were, if, it, if it was reported they were going to do three. Uh, but yeah, he so he stabs her. He stabs her through through the chest. Uh, and then then you you never guess what. Uh, fucking hell. You know, you know, what is the point? What is the point if nobody dies? Uh, we've now got the Grand Inquisitor back, and he's alive. Uh, that's because we rely on Vactor tanks now. Uh, at least I'm assuming. But 
again, why why is it why does it seem to be that no no one's really dead in Star Wars? It's like what's the point in fucking caring then? Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, they never gave a because when they when they if they did kill off uh, the Grand Inquisitor, then that that would that would break uh, the canon within Rebels, I believe. Uh, but yeah, that that was the only only canon breaking thing they were worried about. Uh, all the other stuff, nah, fuck, they didn't give a fuck. Uh, but yeah, he was stabbed through the chest. No, he's dead. He's dead. I'm sorry, but he's dead. But no, things don't die now because we got Vactor tanks. We can just pop them in the Vactor tank. Even though, how how long do you think he was laying there? Like when the Grand Inquisitor got stabbed through the the stomach, how long do you think he was he was laying there? Dead. Very long time. Uh, but no, you pop them in a Vactor tank. Oh, and they're good to go. Even though they're already fucking dead. But yeah, I, I don't understand why. Once you're once you're stabbed through the uh, with a lightsaber, you're dead. You're dead. I, I don't know why anyone's surviving that. Uh, but no, he's all fine. So she's so he, he says to her. Uh, you know, you know what? I'm really, I'm really not thinking back on because I, I did say, say I thought this guy was all right, but fucking not really. It, it, it is a, it is a cartoony villain. Why, yes, you know, it's like it's that kind of voice. It's like, yeah, calm down. But yeah, he said, he says, so now we're gonna leave you to die where we found you in the gutter. Uh, no, no, Vader. Why is Vader not making sure she's dead? Why well, she should be she should be dying anyway, she should be dead after this. But I'm I'm going to take a guess and say that she's not going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if that other woman that was around Kenobi. I won't be surprised if she gets popped in a Vactor tank. Uh, oh, and, oh, I'm alive now. But again, why why would you why would you she might su she might survive even though she should really just die uh, pretty much instantly almost. It shouldn't take very long to kill you. Uh, but Vader's like, nah, fuck that. I'm just a dumb prick now. I'm not going to finish. I'm not going to finish the job. Uh, yeah, it's just stupid. Very stupid. Uh, and if you remember when I... Well, we're, we're about to see it. We're about to see it. Uh, so we're back on the ship and... I, uh, what do they talk? I don't, I don't know if they talk about anything. Uh... I, I I don't know. It's something like Obi Wan's got a bad feeling or something. Uh, so yeah, yeah. This is the the f fucking funny fuck up that they've done here. So this this Reaver's lightsaber. If you remember, Darth Vader broke it in two, but now it's now it's as one again. Uh, so that's that's a little fuck up there. Uh, but yes, this is the the part where if you if you can see it correctly there. I'll, oh. Oh, are we gonna? Uh, there you go. There. So, so this is the thing that the fucking idiot, uh, the idiot guy from the other, the fake Jedi, dropped, looked at, and left it. So, of course, as we know, there was a there was a message on it from Organa. It's a message from it. So important information that you want to keep a secret. Uh, and that that guy just left it there because uh, he's an idiot and shouldn't be trusted with anything. Uh, so th this keeps going back to like. Obi Wan having a bad feeling about it, uh, and then yeah, she sees the message and it says about uh, Tatooine protect the boy. That so it's about Luke. So she now she now knows that Obi Wan was on Tatooine, uh, and there's there's something to do with a boy. There's something to do with a boy. She now she now knows this. Uh, and by the way, something that I did forget to mention when Reva and Obi Wan had that conversation, it also came. Remember, it was so obvious that the reason she she wanted Kenobi was because she blamed him for what happened. Because she she says to him, "Where were you?" Uh, I I can't really remember where he was to be honest. It's been a been a been a you know been a little while. Uh, that's probably because of the, because the sequel trilogy killed Star Wars. Uh, it also killed enjoyment out of the out of the other stuff. Uh. So yeah, she now is it's like why is she not dead? She's just been stabbed. She's been stabbed with a lightsaber. Why is she still alive? 
Why did Vader leave her alive? That's the big question. It's like, if there's a possibility of you surviving, it's like, well, Vader's going to make sure he's done the job right. So, yeah, he it just keeps going back to, he's got a bad feeling. I don't know what Leia says. Uh, but I'm assuming that the... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, then this is when we get a shot back to Tatooine, uh, Luke's farm, and then we get a shot of Luke in his bed. So this is where, where we're going to be for the for the last episode, I'm assuming. This is where we're going to be for next week's episode. Uh, we're going to fuck up Luke again. That's what that's that's what we're going to do. Because uh, no matter what, whenever whenever Disney uh, involves Luke Skywalker, they tend to fuck him up. Uh, they did it. They did it in the Last Jedi. Uh, they did it in I don't know. But did they do it in the Mandalorian? Maybe uh, they did it in Boba Fett. Uh, they're probably going to do it in this as well. Uh, I'm I'm honestly surprised that they're even involving Luke at all. Because uh, really, this series has just been about propping Leia up. Oh no, we need to make Leia more important. This it's not about Luke Skywalker. Uh, Star Wars isn't about Luke Skywalker. Uh, at least the the main stuff. No, it's not about him. Fuck him. Fuck him. You know. So that's the episode. That is the that's the episode. Uh, so all I all I can assume is that this is where the the big battle is going to be. Uh, so I. I it's like so obvious that oh yeah, Reva ha Reva has to has to protect Luke Skywalker and Obi Wan. Obi Obi Wan can't have any agency. He can't do anything on his own. Uh, he needs to be saved. He needs to be saved. So it's pretty obvious that all the all the leaks that came out about this were true. Uh, that's pr that's pretty obvious now. Ah. Uh. Uh. You know what? What? What can we talk about to sum up the episode? Uh, you know, I think I've mentioned about the about the flashbacks we got with Obi Wan and Obi Wan and Anakin. It's like again, it just it just tells me the missed opportunity, the missed opportunity that I fully expected Lucasfilm to miss. Uh, again, as I've said, you should have involved, even have a have a story based on based on Tatooine, and also also have a story where where we have a, a more... It gives more more of something to Anakin and Obi-Wan's relationship. That, that, would, that would have been interesting. It would, have, it would have meshed well. It would have worked rather than this happens, this happens, and then, and then. <coughs> oh. So it's definitely a missed opportunity there. Would have been a lot more interesting. Uh, but no, we can't we can't center it on two men. We can't center it on two men. <laughs> uh, no, it can't. It can't be all about them. It's gonna be about Reva. It's gotta be about a uh, woman's name who I don't know. Uh, they've gotta be. They've gotta be have more confidence than Obi Wan. They've gotta be better than Obi Wan. We can't have Obi Wan be fucking top level. Uh, the shit. No, we can't have him that way. Uh, even though you could have still had him that way and still had him you know, somewhat stuck in his feelings about what happened, what happened at the end of the prequels. Uh, but no, we had to make him pathetic. Uh, again, the, his, for, his force powers are back now. They're back now. It didn't take very long, did it? Didn't take very long. Um, I, I don't know if we're getting Qui-Gon Jinn. I, I don't know if he's coming in as a force ghost. It The way this this show's going, it doesn't seem like it. But it's like I said, they're going to try and cram everything into one episode. Because they, they've just wasted five episodes. Wasted them. Wasted them away. They've wasted Disney Disney's money. And that, that they just like to do that now. Whenever it comes to corporations, they just like to waste money. It's very strange. Very strange that you're just going to throw money away. Uh, but whatever. Again, the... The most annoying part of this, for at least for me, uh, was letting a ten-year-old, a ten-year-old little girl that's got no experience in dealing with electrical things, uh, you know, she's been born with a spool, a silver spoon in her mouth. She just knows how to fix wires. It's like even with their direction, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that no, she's not going to be able to fix it. 
Uh, you need you need someone that knows what they're doing. You're still risking a 10-year-old uh, electrocuting herself and killing herself. Uh, and that that's that's on Obi-Wan. That, that's, that's pretty much on everyone in that room. Because you didn't have one person with a bit of common sense that said, no, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, she's a little girl. She might die. She might die. So it's probably not a good idea. Uh, what else did we have? I'm just kind of looking at my notes to try and sum it up. Uh, I don't know. It, it does. It just it fucks up a lot of shit with with Senator Organa because he should now. Once this series is done, uh, he should now be under scrutiny uh, and potentially get executed because he's he's people know he's a traitor. But I imagine they're not, they're not going to do anything with that. Uh, what they're doing with Reva, and she, she now knows about uh, a boy on Tatooine. It's like even though she should be dead, I don't, I, I don't really know. Uh, well, it's obvious that she's gonna, she's gonna save Luke Skywalker. Uh, that's what they have to do with their their characters to make them seem like they've done something, to make them seem in. Oh well, she saved Luke. Very important to the story now. Very important. Our Disney made character is now very important to the story. Uh, that that's what that's what they've been going with uh, with that. <sighs> uh, but uh, you know, I I don't really, I think the explanation is that needs a bit of work on why Reva knows that Vader is Anakin. Because I, I I don't I don't I don't know if they were all walking around saying Vader Vader like to Anakin and she sees sees Anakin being called that name. It doesn't explain why she's working with him. Uh, but no, I, I don't fucking know. Uh, I'm pretty much... I'm just lost. I'm a, I'm a bit lost on some of these things. It's like, you could have done better than that. And then uh, and then how they've... With Reva, how they've just all of a sudden switched... Her. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't have any impact because you haven't built it up. Uh, when we When we were introduced to her... Uh, well, you should add her in. If you add her in the first episode, let's say we see her twice. The second time we see her, when she's expected to do a certain thing, uh, she kind of hesitates a bit. You know, that's all you have to have to kind of, kind of build that in her character. That oh, we might have to keep an eye on this this uh, woman because uh, it seems like she doesn't really like what she's doing. You know that that's that's how you how you work this into the story. You don't just go oh well, she's been a horrible piece of shit. The entire series, uh, she's been a villain. She wanted to torture, torture Leia, a child. Uh, she wanted to. Uh, again, I, I'm not even sure why she's motivated to find uh, the other Jedi and all that kind of stuff. Well, I don't know where that's come from. Uh, and it, even like when she's chopped off innocent people's hands. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to make you sympathise with her. Going, oh, well, she only did it... Nah, she's still fucking done it, though, didn't she? Uh, it doesn't change nothing. It doesn't change anything. Uh, and again... Uh, there was so, What else was I going to add to that? I'm forgetting now. Uh, I don't know, but I'm just... Yeah, this, this fucking series is an absolute disaster. It's just a, a continuous disaster. Uh, and... Uh, it's like, we could all come up with better things than Lucasfilm could come up with. Uh, we really could. Uh, and I, I don't know if anybody... I might try and pull it up, actually, uh, just quickly. Uh, to, so, you can, so you can see what we got coming up. Uh, I think I might have it on my Twitter. Hold on. I'll try, I'll try and look for it quick, anyway. I don't want to waste much more of your time. Uh, what do we got? Uh, basically, basically, it's it's all the all the Star Wars projects we've got coming up. Uh, I want you to have a look at it and tell me, tell me exactly what it is. I might not even have it on it. No, I don't think I have it on it. Uh, no, I don't know. But yeah, basically, it's all your. I should be able to find it anyway. Because uh, we're already at an hour, so I kind of need to just look for it quickly. Oh, here we go. Uh, and to, to me, to me, it's depressing. <coughs> oh, look at all these shows that they're doing. Uh, and there is a, there is another picture that's got a load more on them. But just look at the amount of shite that is coming. It's too much. It's really... Uh, and that's 
That's why we're in the position we're in at the moment when it comes to Star, uh, Star Wars or even Marvel. They are putting too much out. Uh, and when you do, it, that's why everything feels like it's factory made. They all they all run the run the exact same. None of them are are that different. They're really not. It's because it, you know they're just pumping them out, pumping them out. We need to get people to subscribe to our uh, Disney Plus. We even though they don't offer shit, not offer nothing. Not even fucking worth it. <laughs> they're not even worth it. But that's that's. You know, I, I don't I don't even know if I can watch any of those shows, uh, even to because I fully expect them to be terrible. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know if I can bring myself to to watch any more Star Wars. I I really can't. Uh, you know, maybe maybe summon, but uh, the amount of stuff that's that's all coming out at the same time. Uh, that some of them are going to review, some of them not. Uh, the big one is of course the Rings of Power. Uh, and a, a lot of the so you've got Andor that's coming out like a few days before the Rings of Power. You've also got the House of the Dragon coming out a few days before the Rings of Power. You've also got in August you've got She Hulk. Then you know, uh, yeah, July you've got fucking Four Love and Thunder. There is so much trash coming. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure House of the Dragon is going to be better than the Rings of Power. Uh, but the Rings of the pa the Rings of Power is the one I want to focus on. Uh, that is the that's the ultimate focus for me in September, so I, I it's going to be kind of hard to try and review a lot of these shows that are coming out that all seem to be coming out at the same time. So much shite. Uh, I just uh, yeah no, I just it's just the dark timeline at the moment. Uh, a lot of terrible stuff, but you know I think that's pretty much all we got for for the bloody episode. And yeah, I cannot be bothered. Cannot be bothered with it. It's just terrible from the terrible from start to finish. Uh, you know, episode one. Episode one is probably the best in this series, just because they didn't really do much. Uh, they didn't really take any chances or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, it's just it's just gradually got worse. Uh, what episode? I I still think episode three is the worst. I I, I think all these other episodes are definitely. Sort of on par with it, just a a, li a little tad less. I still think episode three was the fucking dumbest one. Uh, but yeah, we're we're over an hour now, so that's I've probably gone on long. And I, I, you know, once we started getting near the end, I was like, oh, we might get this done in forty minutes actually. Uh, but no, it just ends up taking fucking longer. Ah, oh, one episode to go. Uh, as I said, I I once episode six was that I was going to do. Uh, episode six, like I'd do the one video, and it would be episode six, and it'd also be the overview of the whole series. But I'll, I'll be doing like an overview thing in just in in a separate video once we once we're done with episode six next week. So that's kind of the way I'm going to do it. It'd be a lot easier then. Otherwise, we're going to end up with like a three hour fucking video. Uh, so and that will take fucking ages to upload to YouTube. Uh, so. That, that's that's the way I'm, once I, I record episode six next week I'll just be recording the overview one straight after it and I'll put that out the next day then we never have to speak of obi-wan Kenobi the, the Disney plus series ever again we'll finally be done with it uh, we'll finally be done with it but you know I hope everyone enjoyed what we went over you know it's been an hour it's been an hour uh, and I think I've offered more than Lucasfilm ever could <laughs> 